Hello, and welcome to the KRA Online Learning Center. During this brief video, we will walk through the user interface to show you how to take advantage of all the learning opportunities that are available to you. After logging in using the credentials provided to you, you will land on this screen. Depending on what platform you use, this may look a little bit different, but the main components are the same. The first thing that I want to bring your attention to is on the top right hand corner, this area entitled Total Number of Courses. In this rectangle, you will see two boxes. One will give you the total number of courses that you are enrolled in. We will either enroll you in courses or you will have the opportunity to self-enroll in courses. Next to that, you have the total number of completed courses. This is a way of letting you know how many courses you've actually finished all the way through. While we are talking about completed courses, I would like to bring your attention to the top right-hand corner where you have the option to download your training history. This is an opportunity for you to download basically your transcripts of all the coursework that you have completed in the KRA Online Learning Center. This might be good to bring with you when you're having your performance evaluations with your supervisors or to keep track of all the coursework that you have done in our Online Learning Center. Next, beneath the area of total number of courses, there is another area labeled Recent Activity. This will track all of your activity that you engage in while logged into the platform. You will see things such as new enrollments and course completions. And this is also a good way to let you know when you've been enrolled for new courses. The main real estate here is dedicated to course descriptions. And as I scroll, you can see that there's been a lot of courses that I have enrolled in. I'm going to show you different types of courses. The first course here, as you can see by the status, is labeled in progress. So this is a course that I have started but I have not finished yet. And that's why instead of there being a start button, there is a resume button. We'll discuss later the best way to close so that you can resume a course if you're unable to finish it in one setting. The next course below here you'll see is actually a course that I am enrolled in that I have not started. We know that because the status says not started and there is a start button. It'll tell you the date of your enrollment and you have an opportunity to also read an in-depth description of this course by clicking on the read more. I'm going to return to the dashboard by utilizing this button here. As you can see, the buttons will change based on what screen you're in, and it's always responsive to where you are in the platform. It's very intuitive and very easy to understand. So let's launch a course so you can see what that looks like. So I'm going to move down to the communication skills for workforce professionals and all I'm going to do is click on the start button. Depending on the speed of your internet and your computer, the loading time can go from a few seconds to several seconds. Now in this case, I may have to scroll down to accommodate to get to all of the menu options that I have. But you can see, this is what a, a typical course looks like. And there usually are a few ways to advance through the course. You can either click on the next button or the play button, and both will start the course for you. I would like to bring attention to this pop-up box here, which explains that you must click here to correctly close or save your progress when you have finished viewing or completing your module. This is critical that this is the way you close out of the module. This way you will be able to track your progress in the course. If you close out in any other way, you will lose your progress. 
So what I'm going to do for demonstration purposes is click on the next button just so you can see what it looks like to move through the course. So this is launching into the course, but let's say that I have to stop now because I have some other responsibilities. So once I click on this X, it will save my progress and then you will see that the status for this course has changed from being not started to in progress and also the start button has changed to resume. While we may enroll you in several courses, you also have the opportunity to explore our catalog for your own purposes. And the way you access this is by clicking on the dashboard button in the top left hand corner. And once you click on it, you're going to see an option for catalog. So we'll click on catalog. And what this does is it will give you options, give you access to all of the courses that are available to you to self enroll. And you will see here by the message, please feel free to self enroll in any of the courses listed. You can scroll through the courses, read the descriptions, and if you find something that is of interest to you, you can click enroll and then it will end up on your dashboard and you will be able to start the course. We also have divided our courses into several course categories and you can access these by clicking on the drop down menu for all categories and from there you will see all the various options that you can choose from and right now how many courses we have. It is important that once you log into the system that you get used to checking it periodically as we plan to produce more and more e-learning modules as we progress. So while there are a limited number now, there will be plenty more as we move on. But let's say you're interested in taking a course in leadership, you can click on leadership and then it will show you the two courses that have been labeled as being leadership courses. This is a good way to browse the catalog and to pinpoint on something that you are interested in. As you can see, navigating the system is very simple, it's very easy, but if you do get stuck, you can always contact Crystal Cumble Montague, who is our HR director, via email or phone if you have any questions. Thank you and have fun and please enjoy the KRA Online Learning Center.